Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my current night routine and since a lot of you have been asking about how my pregnancy is going, I'm going to share some updates along the way. So I work from home. On this day I had done some filming earlier in the day and now I'm just checking emails and working on a new video outline. I will just sit here and work until Ryan gets home, which is typically sometime between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. He will go change out of his work clothes and will pretty much start making dinner right away. He's been up since 4am and he goes to bed really early, so that's why he eats early. I will make a protein smoothie as a late afternoon snack for myself. Now that I'm in the second trimester, thankfully most of my food aversions have gone away and I'm able to eat a lot more foods. Right now I'm trying to get more protein in my diet. So while he's cooking, we will chat a little bit about how our days have gone. I'm telling him a crazy story right now about our dog groomer. And then once he's done cooking his dinner, we will sit down to eat. And I wish we could say we were civilized and ate at our dining table, but we don't. We usually just eat on the couch. If you guys don't know this about me, I love to play all different types of games. So pretty much every night after he's done eating, I will try to convince him to play a board game with me. And usually he's too tired. What I have learned to do instead now is play phone games. And my current obsession is a game called Best Fiends. I'm super excited to be partnering with them on this video. You've probably seen other YouTubers talk about this game at this point. And to be honest, until I found this game, I was never into phone games, but now I am addicted. If you're not familiar with the game, it's a puzzle battle game where you're trying to match same colored objects and there's different goals for each level. It gets really challenging the more you play. I'm already on level 50 now, which if you play, you'll know is kind of a big deal. So you can play the game without using any Wi-Fi or data. And I really like that there aren't any annoying pop-up ads. If you play the game, let me know what level you're on in the comments. I'm curious if anyone is past 50. The game is totally free to play and they have new levels out. And if you play on Saturday, August 6th, you're going to get a free gift. So I'll have the information and the link to play the game down below. So at around 6.30ish, I will go on my nightly walk. I have to get on all my gear first, which is a little production. So I have my shoes and yes, this is a fanny pack. Please do not make fun of me. And then I also put on my hat and sunglasses. Here is what my little bump looks like now. I'm four and a half months along. So I now walk in the early evenings because it is just way too hot during the day. I try to walk at least four to five times a week and I will just go around my neighborhood. But now I'm starting to get some lower back pain when I walk, which has never happened to me before. But apparently during pregnancy, your joints and ligaments start to loosen. So that can be the cause of it. And when I walk, I will listen to either audiobooks or podcasts. Once I get back home, I start making dinner. Tonight I'm making vegetable fajitas. I meal prep these on Sunday. They just have bell peppers, onion, and mushroom. This is my favorite dinner at the moment. I eat them with paleo wraps, which are made from coconut meat. I know it sounds weird, but they are so good. You just have to heat them up first. So then I assemble my fajitas, and like I said, I will prep these on Sunday and eat it pretty much for the entire week. And with this, I will drink my favorite iced tea. I'm obsessed with this tea, and it's caffeine free. And then I'll also have my supplements. So I have a prenatal and I also take calcium, iron, zinc, as well as DHA. So I'll eat my dinner and watch a little TV. I'm not super into TV in general, but if I'm watching, I will typically have the Food Network on. I like Cutthroat Kitchen, Cooks vs. Cons, pretty much anything on the Food Network. After dinner, I head into the kitchen just to do a quick wipe down of the countertops. I talk about this in a lot more detail and my habits for a clean kitchen video, so I will leave that linked down below. Then I head upstairs to get ready for bed. I've been trying to go to bed on the earlier side. I will hop in the shower just to rinse off my body and I will also wash my face and brush my teeth while I'm in the shower. I don't know if that's weird, but that's what I do. And then after the shower, I will apply some lotion and jump into my skincare routine. So my pregnancy acne is still really bad, even into the second trimester, which is unfortunate. My mom is a cosmetic chemist and she put together a pregnancy safe mask for me that I add water to and I apply to my face and I sleep in this. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because I'm going to do a dedicated video on pregnancy acne once I get this fully under control. 
I will head into bed. Ryan wasn't home when I filmed this, but pretend like he's there. And I will either watch Friends episodes or read a book. And when I read, I do fall asleep a lot faster. Super exciting update. Within the past few days, I started to feel the baby moving when I lay down to go to bed, which has got to be the coolest feeling in the entire world. And that's pretty much it for my current nighttime routine. I will just turn off the lights and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Penny, the baby's thirsty. Okay. Water, please. I get some more. Thank you. Mm. Penny? Hmm? The baby would like a snack. What kind of snack? Just a snack. All right. Mm. Penny? Mm -hmm. um, the baby would like to know if you could feed the dog, please. For okay. the baby. Well, of course, for the baby. Uh, all right. Is there anything else the baby would like? Yes, actually, a foot rub for mom. <laughs> Once that deep as you 